What's up, TAC? Welcome back to this week's episode of the Artful Chiropractor Podcast. My name is Dr. Ray Daniels. This week, I'm going to be switching it switching it up on you. I am not going to be interviewing anybody, but rather reflecting on a previous episode that I did with Dr. Lance Von Stade. Part of my New Year's intention is to be integrating more, reflecting more, trying to actually apply the input that I so often overload myself with. So uh, talking about a few of the takeaways with that episode with Dr. Lance, I think is going to be really beneficial for myself and then also for you. If you dig this style of episode, definitely reach out, message me, and I will try and do a few more of them. There will definitely be shorter five to 10 minute episodes of my takeaways from guests and then also some different insights, lessons, things that I'm learning along the journey, especially that I'm only, what, five months into practice at this point. And I think there will be lessons throughout my journey that will be very unique to this time period, where I think it's common for most people to talk about their story and the successes and the failures and how they learn from things way or way uh, later on in their careers. So if I talk about them now, they may be more applicable and maybe more relatable. So the first thing, the episode with Dr. Lance was really all about simplicity. And yes, we dove into accountability later on, but simplicity is definitely a theme that is continuing to come up, especially in this day and age when social media and the fear of missing out is constantly bombarding us left and right. So we have to make way more decisions on a daily basis about what is important, what should be our one thing that Dr. Lance referred to, you know, what is essential in our day to day so that we can go deep in a few things rather than broad in so many different categories. So I loved how Dr. Lance, you know, explained his process, his journey of how he has been trying to gain a deeper insight and really start to make some headway with this in his life. And something that he shared that really struck me was that he had these things that he had made promises to himself or to his family, and sometimes they would get put on the back burner. And I think that is something that is so common to all of us on some level. We quickly put somebody else's needs or expectations or requests of us and our time before our own, our own recuperation or our own process on some level will get put on the back burner and that just becomes a habit. So everybody's needs of us and our time gets put first, especially as a chiropractor, we have this natural ability to serve and take care of people and to to be there. But then in reality, we are constantly taking this a little cut. And Dr. Lance mentioned the death of a thousand cuts. And I think that is something that's really applicable and should be pondered upon because That can create resentment over time, and that is a huge source of suffering that we want to prevent and be proactive about. Okay, so there's a few different ways that I'm trying to be very proactive about simplifying my life, and the first one that I have done so far this year is trying to add in a buffer throughout my day during the transition times. Before this year, I constantly will put so much into my schedule, totally underestimating how long things are going to take, and then I'm just rushing from thing to thing with this high alert state of this sympathetic stress mode. So this year, my mornings, I'm trying to add a buffer zone. So if I think it's going to take me a certain amount of time to get something done, I'm adding five or 10 minutes, and then Weirdly, you'll realize that that five to 10 minutes needed to be 20 minutes. So constantly checking in and seeing actually how long does it take me to do my morning routine, have breakfast, enjoy it, not being rushed, start my car in the, in my circumstance because it's snowing half the time so far this year, 
and be able to get to the office on time and not feel rushed. So that process will obviously look very different for each of us, but something you can do tomorrow is add in a buffer time so that your morning, your transition throughout the day, your evening will not be stressed trying to get somewhere on time or or maybe that everything doesn't have to go exactly perfect for you to be on time. So I think I would love, you know, some feedback and see how you guys are doing with that and see if that helps any of you. Another big way that I'm trying to simplify my intentions for this year are the creation of four new habits, which I mentioned with Dr. Lance. And the first one is evening reflection. It has been one of the hardest things to integrate into my life on a constant basis. It is something, a principle, a strategy that so many people talk about, all these different podcasts that I listen to, they all talk about journaling and reflecting. And I, for whatever reason, have had so much resistance to sitting down at the end of the day and writing. So that has been my number one habit that I am trying to add in this quarter. And if I can do that every single day, by the end of the quarter, it will be a habit. I won't have to think about it. No matter how I'm feeling, I will do it. And the prompts that I'm using is part of the five-minute journal. And then I've added a couple things to it. The first one is, you know, what went well. Then, you know, how can I be 1% better tomorrow? What needs to be processed and then I finish with a request. You could look at it, look at it as a prayer, whatever it may be for you. I will be like, may I sleep and recover well? May I attract a certain amount of people into the office tomorrow? May I be present with the people that I serve? Like some type of request or intention for either that evening when you're sleeping or for the next day. And then I also just finish with gratitude. So those four different prompts, you know, the 1% better is a way to try and reflect on the day and see where I could have done something better or I wasn't conscious about or my, I had a response to somebody that wasn't great, something like that. Uh, What needs to be processed, that is a prompt that I try and use to see if anything got brought up and caused a negative emotion inside that I will tend to just suppress or not think it's a very big deal but this will allow me to like write it out process it try and think about it and see if there's anything else that needs to be done so that I can fully let that emotion run through me and I could be good for the next day and before I go to sleep so that is the first one the second one is morning reflection or morning journaling and that just includes gratitude some I am statements and then what would make the day great along with my intention and then what I'm attracting and creating. And it doesn't have to take too long. You can dive into it if you have more time. But those were, uh, so those are the two habits. And then the third one is hanging and squatting for five minutes each every single day. And then the final one is, like I mentioned before, that buffer, adding that buffer in the morning, being on time, not feeling rushed, not feeling stressed. So those are the four habits that I'm trying to in- introduce this year. However, I have, I'm have i trying to do those every single day, but there's only one that takes priority. And, is that, and the first one is the evening reflection. Like if I had to pick one thing to do that day, it was going to be that evening reflection. So that's how I'm trying to simplify the habits and all these new things that we're all trying to do every year and trying to add into our life. Doing the one thing and trying to do that for 60 to 90 days is definitely going to create that habit for you. And another area that I'm trying to simplify is simply creating space throughout my day minimizing the amount of input and trying to have time for walks, movement, meditation. Obviously, I just talked about journaling, connection with family or friends or just being by myself, really trying to add in more space and not filling it with something that will perceivably make me better or 
make me more productive. So that is a theme that I keep hearing, like creating space that will allow for creativity and really allow you to come up with solutions to problems that you have going on throughout your day. The final way I think that I would like that I'm trying to create simplicity around this year is, is my accountability. And Dr. Lance and I talked about it a lot in that episode, but you know, I am fortunate enough to live with an amazing friend, lifelong friend, and we have accountability that we've been doing for the last three, four years. So we meet once a week. We talk about our intentions and our habits and, and what we're trying to be accountable to each other each week. And I definitely took some things from Lance in terms of how to be, maybe ask for more accountability and to really encourage that tough love or that deeper sense of connection and coaching that may not be comfortable to ask for. So I really love that. And having just one person or maybe two, I don't know, I'm sure many of you have some forms of accountability, but just asking yourself, how can I simplify this? Because it is a super important process, but I've been a part of a ton of different accountability groups and multiple ones at the same time. And it just is, again, overwhelming and to the point where it's not constructive. So trying to simplify that. So wrapping it up, I am simplifying my mornings, adding in buffer zones as best you can so you don't feel rushed and or stressed because you are rushing and then really simplifying the habits and the things that you want to change trying to do one per quarter or we only have I guess we're halfway through this quarter so really trying to simplify how you want to finish this quarter with the habit and then creating space and simplifying that and simplifying your accountability all right I ran over I'm around 12 minutes so if you like that episode definitely shoot me a message um, with what you liked what you didn't like and if you want to hear more i hope you all have an awesome awesome week and thank you so much for listening and until next week peace